are your guys' initial thoughts and perceptions on anime? I think anime is great, to be honest. Um, like, there's something natural about just the drawing and the aspects of creating a reality for someone else. And it kind of caters to a lot of people's things. It's like same as any kind of art. It's a form of art, basically. Yeah. It's just like it's just like music or just like painting and stuff like that. It, plus, like it's it's a good show. It's good to watch. Like my dad, for example, would just call it a cartoon. I'm like, no, dad, it's not. Because if I have a kid, I'm not letting my kid watch anime just yet until he's able to like appreciate it for what it is. Because like I didn't start watching anime until like I got into high school, really. Yeah, but then I was like, okay, this shit is great. Yeah. I thought you watched it like before high I school. Anime since I was like, about I a kid. A little bit, but like my cousins used to watch it more. So I used to watch like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, yeah. but not like. Anime, anime, I guess, like, deeper into it, I guess, besides just the definitely. big three type. Dragon Ball Z is definitely, like, an anime, like you know what I mean? Three. But if we're talking about stuff like Inuasha and stuff like that, Chinese, exactly. Like the stuff yeah. that come on on Toonami, like, yeah. people would consider those cartoons, but you they're definitely anime. Like, exactly. Yeah, like, anime. not just some Chinese cartoons like people like to exactly. say. Exactly. It's not like Avatar, you know what I mean? Anime is kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I watch, like, Food Wars and stuff like that. So, I mean, the food there looks really nice. It's really nice. Um, I guess I think the only thing I hate about it, bro, is that the girls, man, their tits are just too big. I mean, that's that's the thing that you gotta love about it, you know. I love it, bro, but they, they look like little girls, man. I don't know how I feel about little girls oh. with big tits, bro. Okay, I understand that. If you go to like an Asian country, most of the people look very young, you know, like even the guys and the girls. So that's probably why, right? That's tr that's true, bro. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But I think they all look little. They all look little. Even it's kind of weird, though. I, I get what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I actually did a Food Wars cosplay, so I, I love that anime. Yeah, Ishiki. I, <laughs> I was naked and I did the apron thing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Thoughts on people who are like otaku and weeboos? Hey, bro, creator of the craft. Okay. I agree. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing inherently wrong with like. That's like. How do you feel about athletes? You know, <laughs> there there are people who play sports. There are people who are really good at what they do. Yeah, if you watch a lot and you have a big, you know, repertoire, then kudos to you, man. It's a good thing. Yeah, there's a misconception, like, it's weird, but everything's basically weird if you think about it. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fact. If you think about anything in deeper context, it will be weird at some point more than likely, yeah. It it's going to be weird from some point along the lines of, like, you're doing something all day and that's all you do? That's a little weird. Yeah, exactly. They're professional video gamers. I, is that really weird? And you earn money from it. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're earning money. You're getting some kind of knowledge. And people go to Comic-Con and they dress up and cosplay and they right. cosplay. Okay, there you go. People make money off that too. So it's kind of like you can't really hate on it. You can't knock it down, you know? Exactly. You can't knock anyone's living, yeah. Oh, nah, bro. I don't mess with them. You don't mess with them? Nah, straight up. Like, whenever I hang out with... I, I'm serious, bro. They're weird to hang out with, bro. They don't take showers, you know what I'm saying? Are you sure? Because I'm, I'm otaku, but I, I take... Yeah, but I'm pretty chill and cool, and I cosplay and stuff. I guess I guess maybe it's all right. I mean, it depends on who you're. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I mean, it depends on who you are, man. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't got a lot of talk with friends. You know. Hey, maybe I could be your friend, and we could like, um, I could get this stigma out of you. You know, change your mind about it. Okay, bet, bet. Uh, I'll, I'll, t I'll take your offer for that. Yeah, let's be friends, then. Let's be friends. My, my otaku, my otaku. My otaku friend. <laughs> I'll take you to a convention or something. Something. Gosh. My initial thoughts on anime is basically fiction, which can tell a lot of stories for different people. Like, it has stories for children, from adults to any kind of stories. If you want to know, if you want to know about psychology, a person who can kill people with writing a book in it, and a person who can just wield a sword and kill people, uh, anything, basically, if you want. You can have titans, you can have people shape-shifting, you can have people conquering the world turning to be the pirate king you can see anything if you want you have any taste you can have find an anime if you have something nice and s you can watch with family you can watch alone anything you want i think anime is for everybody who needs to see them you could basically find anything inside of anime right the the whole as not aspect of anime but like the whole idea of anime you could find anything Right. Anything in it, any type of genre you need, you can find an anime. Absolutely, so far what I've seen. So, yeah. I mean, they did create a, a bunch of card games from anime, so it's pretty crazy. It is. It is. They created a card game. They created Beyblades, which is quite interesting. They created Pokemon of all of those things. So I think anything is possible if you really put into it. So yeah, they create about volleyball. They create about basketball, golf. So yeah. I think it's really cool. I don't think it reaches enough people, to be quite honest. It does scream a lot. It screams a lot. Oh, you mean like they sh they use a lot of emotion and em emphasis and stuff? I agree. Mm -hmm. That's it? Um, can you give me a show out of curiosity? Naruto? That one? Okay, I've only watched a single episode. 
of that one. So she basically is like non-anime fan, I guess, right? I am not. I don't know anything about it, but it was a lot of fun, and it's a very different culture okay. on a TV show. I think it's a lot of very. I think it's very cool. Weeboos and otaku. Hey, they're nice, interesting people. Even though sometimes people see them in a very different light, but they are interesting people to meet because they can understand fiction. They can understand good quality writing also. So it's fun to have conversations with these type of people sometimes. So true. Uh, it used to be considered very nerdy. But now it's like becoming like popular and mainstream actually. And what is your thoughts on otaku and like people who are super inter interested in anime? They're like super fans. Oh, uh, it's cool with them. Whatever you like, you like, man. You don't think it's weird or anything, right? No, I don't think it's weird. I mean, you know, you do you. I think it's super cool to be that into something where you where you're able to dress up and like you're able to go along with the stuff or you're sure like it's super cool, man. I think that's super cool. Everybody should be able to get into what they like like that. If you do it though, you gotta own it. Like you can't be like scared. Like if you're like a anime fan, like you really gotta own it, bro. Yeah. Like me, of course. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to brag though, but I, I cosplay a lot and stuff. So yeah.